Hello, my dear friend. Take a look at this composite geometric figure. We have a rectangle in which there are three tangent circles. The red circle touches two sides of the rectangle, whereas the green one touches three sides of the same rectangle. We also know the diameters of our circles. The red one is 3, the blue is 4, and the green one is 6. With this information in mind, could you determine the distance between points A and B within 5 seconds? The most popular answer among people who eyeball instead of applying mass is 7.5. And it's incorrect. Let's figure out how it should really be. Before we start, I would kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel. This will help me to grow faster and you'll become a crucial part of that growth. To begin with, let's write the radii of the circles instead of the diameters. The red circle will have 1.5. The radius of the blue will be 2. And the radius of the green circle will be 3. Now, let's connect the centers of the blue and green circles and draw a perpendicular to get the right triangle. The hypotenuse of this right triangle is the sum of the radii of the blue and green circles. So it's 2 plus 3 equals 5. This side is also easy to find because this part is equal to the radius of the blue circle, which is 2, and the radius of the green circle is 3. So 3 minus 2 gives us 1. As you can see, now we can apply a Pythagoras theorem to find the second side of our right triangle. 5 squared minus 1 squared, and we take the root from all of this. So we get 25 minus 1, or the square root of 24. 24 we simplify as 6 multiplied by 4. And this 4 we can take out from under the root to get the final 2 square root of 6. We've just found a part of the distance AB. OK, moving forward. Now let's connect the centers of the red and blue circles. And again, we will draw a perpendicular to get another right triangle. The hypotenuse of this right triangle is the sum of the radii of the red and blue circles, so it's 1.5 plus 2 equals 3.5. To find this side of the triangle, please consider that this segment equals to the radius of the red circle, which is 1.5. And the distance from the center of the blue circle to the rectangle side is 4. This 4 corresponds to the same distance here of 3 plus 1. So 4 minus 1.5 gives us the side of 2.5. To find the distance AB, we need to find this side of the right triangle. Again, we apply Pythagoras theorem. 3.5 squared minus 2.5 squared, and we take the root from all of this. Don't be harsh if I use a calculator here. We get a square root of 6. So we just found the second part of the distance AB. The distance AB is equal to the square root of 6 plus 2 square root of 6, or it's simply the 3 square root of 6. That is our final answer. OK, I understand someone might suggest that the decimal representation of 3 square root of 6 is 7.34, which is close to 7.5 if eyeballing, but as I mentioned earlier, that estimation is incorrect. In mathematics, as in real life, precise values lead to precise results. Mathematical eyeballing or simply assumption is a way to see possible boundaries of something, but not conclusive. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.